Have you ever wondered how wolves communicate in the vast wilderness? Well, let's unravel this mystery together. Picture the vast expanse of an untamed wilderness, and at its heart, the majestic wolf, a creature of intrigue and fascination. Wolves, as we know, play a pivotal role in maintaining the balance of our ecosystem. They control the population of other animals, thus preserving the vegetation and indirectly, other smaller species that rely on it. Now let's move on to the captivating subject of wolf communication. It's a symphony of sounds and signals, a language all their own. Wolves communicate in a variety of ways, including howling, barking, growling, and even through body language. Howling is perhaps the most iconic, a haunting melody that can carry over vast distances, serving to assemble the pack or ward off intruders. Barking is typically a warning sign, while growling can signal aggression. Their body language too speaks volumes from submissive postures to dominant displays. In the grand tapestry of the wolf world, there are different threads, each with its own unique hue. We have the gray wolf, the most common type, known for its keen intelligence and adaptability. The red wolf, a rare species native to the southeastern United States, is smaller and more solitary. Then there is the Arctic wolf, a resilient creature adapted to survive in the harsh, icy wilderness of the Arctic Circle. Each variety of wolf contributes its own unique strand to the intricate web of life. As we move forward, we're going to explore more about these fascinating creatures, their social structure, habitats, diet, and their conservation status. We'll also delve into the challenges they face and the efforts being made to protect them. Wolves have a story to tell a narrative woven with threads of survival, adaptation, and the delicate balance of nature. Now that we've whetted your curiosity, let's delve deeper into the fascinating world of wolves. Did you know that wolves are social animals and live in packs? Yes, indeed, much like us humans, wolves thrive on companionship and collaboration. Let's take a closer look at the fascinating structure of a wolf pack. At the apex of the pack's hierarchy is the alpha pair, often a male and a female who lead the pack. They are the decision makers, the ones who guide the pack's movements and the ones who have the privilege of breeding. Their leadership is essential for the pack's survival. Then we have the beta wolves who act as the second in command. They are the alphas in waiting, standing ready to step up should anything happen to the alpha pair. They are also the peacekeepers, maintaining order within the pack and settling disputes among lower ranking members. At the bottom of the hierarchy are the Omega Wolves. They are often the last to eat at a kill and may even be picked on by other members. Nonetheless, they play a crucial role in maintaining the pack's social structure. You see, the pack is not just a random assembly of wolves, it's a closely knit social structure, a family unit where each wolf has a role to play and each role is vital for the pack's overall survival. Now let's talk about hunting. Wolves are notorious hunters, and their hunting strategies are a marvel of nature. They rely heavily on teamwork, with each wolf playing a part in the chase. The alphas usually initiate the hunt, the betas assist in the chase, and the omegas help encircle the prey. Their collective effort ensures a higher success rate in their hunts, feeding the pack and sustaining their survival in the wild. In the grand scheme of things, the pack is the cornerstone of wolf society. It's a testament to the power of unity and cooperation. It's a symbol of the strength that can be found in numbers, and it's a reminder that in the wild, survival is a team sport. As we can see, the pack is the cornerstone of wolf society. Can you imagine where these majestic creatures call home? The wolf, a creature of remarkable adaptability, thrives in a variety of habitats around the globe. From the dense green forests to the stark open tundras, from the towering mountains to the arid deserts, the wolf has proven its resilience in the face of diverse environmental challenges. Let's begin with the forests. Wolves in these regions are masters of stealth, using the dense foliage to their advantage while hunting. Their thick fur coat, often in shades of gray or brown, blends seamlessly with the tree trunks and underbrush, providing an effective camouflage. The forest not only offers cover, but also a diverse diet of deer, elk, and smaller mammals. Next, we journey to the mountains where the air is thinner and the terrain more rugged. Wolves here are often larger with denser fur to withstand the biting cold. Their large paws act like snowshoes, allowing them to traverse the steep slopes with ease. Mountain wolves are expert stalkers, 
using the rocky terrain to corner their prey. Venturing into the tundra, we find wolves adapted to the harsh, icy conditions. With their white, thick fur, they blend effortlessly into the snow, becoming almost invisible. The tundra wolf is a patient hunter, often tracking herds of caribou across vast expanses of ice and snow. Finally, we arrive at the desert, an unlikely home for wolves, yet they persist. Desert wolves are smaller, with lighter coats to reflect the intense sun. They've adapted to consume less water, surviving on the moisture from their prey. Even in this inhospitable environment, the wolf has found a way to thrive. In each of these habitats, wolves have developed unique survival strategies, showcasing their incredible adaptability. They've evolved to master their environments, each change in terrain creating a different yet equally successful wolf. No matter the terrain, the wolf remains a master of adaptation. Ever pondered what a wolf eats to survive in the wild? Well, it's an intriguing blend of brawn and brain, with a dash of opportunistic foraging. Wolves are primarily carnivorous, with a strong preference for large ungulates or hoofed mammals. This includes creatures such as deer, elk, bison, and even musk oxen in the harsh northern climes. The wolf's powerful jaws, sharp teeth, and exceptional stamina make them formidable predators, capable of taking down prey several times their size. But wolves don't just rely on their physical prowess. They are strategic hunters, often working in packs to isolate and corner their prey. This pack-based hunting strategy allows them to tackle larger animals that would be too challenging for a lone wolf. Despite their preference for large prey, wolves aren't picky eaters. They'll happily dine on smaller fare when the opportunity arises. Beavers, rabbits, and rodents often find themselves on the wolf's menu, especially when larger prey is scarce. And contrary to popular belief, wolves aren't strictly carnivorous. They've been known to supplement their diet with non-meat items when necessary. In the summer months, when prey may be harder to come by, wolves will eat berries, fruits, and even grass. These plant-based foods provide essential nutrients and help the wolves survive when their preferred prey is scarce. But it's not just about survival. Wolves play a vital role in controlling the population of their prey. By hunting the sick and weak, they help maintain the overall health of the prey populations. This in turn has ripple effects throughout the ecosystem, influencing the abundance and diversity of other species. So, while the wolf's diet may seem brutal to some, it's a fundamental part of the natural order. Their feeding habits not only ensure their own survival, but also contribute significantly to the health and balance of the environments they inhabit. The wolf, a true carnivore, plays a crucial role in the balance of nature. Do you know that despite their ferocity, wolves are often under threat? It might be hard to imagine the powerful majestic wolf in a position of vulnerability, but the reality is a startling contrast to the image we often conjure up. Wolves, like many other species on our planet, face numerous threats that jeopardize their survival. Two of the most significant threats include habitat loss and hunting. As human populations expand, we encroach on the territories that wolves call home. Forests are cleared, grasslands are converted, and the spaces where wolves once roamed freely are shrinking. This habitat loss not only displaces wolf populations, but also disrupts their hunting grounds, affecting their ability to find food. Hunting poses another significant threat to wolves. Despite being apex predators, wolves have, historically, been seen as threats to livestock and game animals. As a result, they've been hunted, often indiscriminately, leading to drastic reductions in their numbers. In some regions, they've even been driven to the brink of extinction. But it's not all doom and gloom. There are concerted efforts underway to conserve and protect wolves. These initiatives range from establishing protected areas where wolves can live undisturbed to implementing regulations that restrict hunting. Some programs also aim to educate the public about the crucial role wolves play in maintaining biodiversity. Wolves are key predators and their presence helps to control the populations of other species thereby maintaining a healthy and balanced ecosystem. Without wolves, these ecosystems could become unstable, leading to a cascade of negative effects. This is why the conservation of wolves is so important. The efforts being made to protect them are not just about saving one species, they're about preserving the intricate web of life that sustains us all.
So the next time you think of a wolf, remember that their survival is about more than just the survival of a single species. The survival of the wolf is a testament to the resilience of nature and a reminder of our responsibility to protect it. We've ventured into the wild and unraveled the fascinating world of wolves. We've learned about their complex communication, their structured pack life, and the diverse habitats they inhabit. We've delved into their varied diet and discussed their current conservation status. These magnificent creatures are a vital part of our ecosystems. We must remember, every wolf's howl echoes the call of the wild, a call we must heed to ensure their survival and the health of our ecosystems.